Alright guys, how's it going? So I thought we would have a little bit of fun to do. And I'm going to show you how to set up a game controller and use it inside of Blender. Now why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes I like moving the camera. It feels a little bit more natural. Perhaps you've set up a face rig and you want to control the shape keys using a controller. The world really is your oyster. Now we need a small application and it's called Antimicro. It's a great little tool and it essentially remaps the keyboard to the controller. So we'll take a quick look here. Now before I start mapping keys, we essentially need to go into Blender, jump into the preferences, go to the key map and I'll search for view navigation. You can see here walk slash fly. Now I've assigned this to shift and F. So I'll quickly jump into anti-macro and I'm going to use the left trigger. And you can see there's no key assigned. So I'll click here, I'll go to no key and I'll quickly jump into advanced. And you can see the first key here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit shift. You can see that it sets up the next key for me and I'm going to make that F and that's us done. So I'll close this down. Now in order to use the walk and fly mode in Blender, it uses the good old gamer keys. So forward is W, left is A, right is D and of course down is S. So we'll take a quick look in Blender. So left trigger to enable the walk and there we go. Now it's a bit more like Doom and I kind of want Quake. I want to be able to look up and down as well. So we'll jump back into Anti-Micro and you can see here the right thumb pad. I'll make up, I'll come to mouse, I'll make that up, I'll assign a key, I'll come down to mouse again and I'll just go left and right. Very simple stuff to be honest. Now the walk and fly mode use E and Q for up and down in the axis. So I'm going to assign this to A, I'll make that E. On the B key, I'll make that a Q. And let's take a quick look at what we've got now. That feels a bit more natural. Let's move up and down. And that's pretty much how you set up Anti-Micro for using the camera. Keep in mind, this actually works on Windows in general. You can use this for any application, so maybe there's another 3D application that this might come in handy. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, cost you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.